My name is Harry, and Up Next changed my life. This is my story. I went to prison. I did 10 years. My life before Up Next was kind of um, unbalanced. You know, I just came home from prison. I didn't really want to come here. I was asked to come here by parole. I had my own plan. I knew what I wanted to do. And you know, after listening to people tell you what to do for so long, you got your freedom. I got my freedom back, so I want to do what I want to do. So when I got here, I came here with one thing in mind, just get my, my child support taken care of, and that was it. I was going to do my own thing after that. What, what made me second guess my plan was a few counselors that, that actually were here took some time out to actually find out what was going on with me. And I knew that I didn't want to go back to prison no more. Up Next helped me get, get my arrears together. I was behind in child support when I came here. So going through the process, that helped me get my arrears together. That was the first step to the relationship, building a relationship with my daughter. That was the very first step for me. Then, as me and my daughter started to interact much more, and I started to get my life together, I took another step, me getting joint custody with my daughter's aunt. I got a lot of help learning to be a parent with someone else. It opened the door for me to um, talk to my daughter's guardian. That's the young lady that had took my daughter when I went away to do my time. And that's who raised my daughter. And uh, when I came through the program, and they opened, they opened up a new channel for me to, to conversate with her. And it, it actually made me appreciate her aunt a whole, lot, a whole lot more and in a different light. And our relationship actually is wonderful. We talk every day about uh, her, her future. Well, primarily, I'm a um, sanitation worker for TSA. And in doing so, uh, we uh, maintain 42nd Street. We maintain that. We make sure that it's clean, safe, and um, presentable for everybody to come and see, tourists, everything. It gives me a purpose when I come out. I'm no longer doing what I used to do, so when I come out now, it's pretty much along the same lines. I, I talk to a whole bunch of people, you know, I'm very social, and in the job that I do, not only do I clean up, I give information, I give people an experience that come from a different place. I learned that it doesn't, money is not um, all, all that's needed to be a dad. Money is a tool to help you do certain things, but being a dad is primarily being involved on a full-time basis with your child. Personal time is what she actually craves for me. And she does that even when we in Times Square. She just wants to walk around with her dad. That's more of a reason for me to stay on point, to do the things that I need to do. When my daughter grows up and looks back at her old man, I want her to know that yeah, he went, through a, he went through a lot, but he always loved me. He always made sure that I was taken care of, you know? And when she sit back and thinks, she like, anything can be achieved. Anything can be achieved. My dad went to prison. He came back, and he's, he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. So uh, he's a wonderful dad. Up Next will set you on a path that you never dreamed of. And the reason why I'm saying that is because that's what it did for me. It's just so much to be grateful for. If I look at my life now, and the most, the, the, the most things that I'm proud of right now is that um, I'm very consistent. The same energy that I used to put into the street, I put into my personal life now. 
Just that I was in the in the wrong area. So my light didn't shine the way that it's actually shining now. But now that I'm focused, my mind on point, things just been coming. I'm like, I hit the lottery. Things are just coming. 